Hi, I'm Rick at Rick Turns, and today's video is...
Okay, well, this uh, platter was in the drawing box for uh, one, two, three, four, five days. Um, it's been out of the drawing box for about another uh, three or four days. Altogether, over the course of uh, the drying and so forth, lost 280 grams or about uh, 0.6 pounds. I've still got some cracking showing in here. Uh, I don't think it's going to spread. It's been pretty much the same uh, since it's been in the drying box. But just in case, I'm going to uh, apply a bunch of very thin wood glue to it. And not wood glue. <laughs> CA glue. Hopefully to stabilize it. Yeah, this means I'm gonna have to do a lot more sanding than I wanted to. And now it is sanding time. I'm gonna start off with 120 grit right here on the end grain. And then I'll switch to 180 grit to start doing the surface. All right, I have flipped this around. Out of the chuck, of course, now it's on my really big face plate. I'm gonna smooth this down, get it even. It's uh, a little bumpy from where it dried. And then I'm gonna leave uh, a little bit of this on, probably about a quarter of an inch, so it's gonna sit up clear of a table where you to actually use it like that. time for the truly fear-inducing part of this project. This is the picture that I'm going to be putting on this bowl. There's uh, not a huge amount of fine detail, but there's some. And there's one other thing that we'll have on it. This is being made for an individual in the Navy who's being promoted to chief. And I'm going to be using or putting this medallion, which I got from Amazon, uh, right on here. Now, let me see. Right on here so that the um, lighthouse shines right on the U.S. Navy medallion. The first thing to do is to do the wood burning because I am going to trace the outline here of the the lighthouse and the shoreline. I think I have marked everything.
Got a lot of nice blue stuff <laughs> right there, but fortunately with this transfer paper, that, uh, that marking comes right off. Okay, let's get everything in place there. So now what I want to do here, so before I even start wood burning, I'm going to go ahead and drill the hole for this right here. It's not a hole all the way through, just slightly. Okay, with that hole drilled, I'm ready to uh, burn in the outline. Fairly simple outline here of the lighthouse and the shoreline, which I will do with a wood burning tool. Now, this is the real opportunity to screw things up. It's putting on the die. I've got some uh, blue die here. I've got some yellow die here. The yellow die is for the light right here. The blue die is for everything else. And after I get all the blue die on, I will probably go back in and darken down this with a little bit of brown and maybe change this uh, shade with a little bit of green. So first thing I'm going to do here is get some of this uh, yellow dye. I want to put a little bit of a, a horizon line down here. I'm going to go ahead and might as well go ahead and put this in here. Now the blue dye. Okay. It's going on pretty light here. And uh, this is supposed to be night. So you might think, gee, that's awfully light. Well, the thing is, after I spray it uh, with a finish, uh, uh, sanding sealer, shellac, or maybe probably uh, a varnish, it will look a lot darker. Plus, I'll be going over this, this particular part right here, several times with more blue dye to darken it. I'm going to leave it just like that for the moment. I'll let this die set and see how it looks. Okay. Uh, I have sprayed on a couple of coats of sanding sealer, otherwise known as shellac. And I'm putting a few final touches on here with uh, regular uh, acrylic paint. And I've got some red here for the top of the lighthouse, right up here. Putting this on. All right. You see, I've done some work down here on the ocean, just to put in some of the uh, waves here. All right, let's 
where the painting goes. I think I'm going to stop at this point while I am more or less ahead. Painting's done. Got varnish on, dry, everything. Now I need to melt permanently. Well, not exactly permanently, but I need to fix this onto the into the hole there like that. And for that, rather than gluing it on, which could cause problems with uh, expansion and contraction with variations in humidity, I am going to put it on with mounting tape. Now, get it on there. Just right. It does not come out. Yay! It is done. Yay! Okay. Now it's time for the after action report. Actually, it turned out fairly good with the painting. The uh, ocean's not exactly photorealistic, but it's probably identifiable as ocean. And then we've got the lighthouse and everything. The, the dyeing and the painting, it turned out okay, and I'm pleased with that. But uh, there is <laughs> one slight problem encountered along the way, and I guess I have to point it out, because if I don't, someone will notice it anyway. So uh, you see right in the center, right here, yeah. I had to plug a little bit of a hole there that was uh, about a quarter inch uh, left over from the woodworm screw hole. I didn't drill the hole too deep. It's just that when I was turning the back, <laughs> I drilled the hole, I drilled the piece too thin. I should have left it about a half an inch thicker and taken that half an inch thickness off of the top rather than the back. And so the hole was left in there. And I patched it in with a plug of poplar wood and uh, it really looked fairly good until I put on the die, and boy, the die makes it stand out uh, <laughs> like, a, like a beacon or a lighthouse, maybe. <laughs> but, you know, I mentioned this was for a naval officer. Well, I'm going to declare this as naval, and uh, therefore it is a feature, not a bug. Ha! See you next video.